for tuning in to Chat with Trent. So today's segment, we're going to be talking about affection. I have over time uncovered that some women don't want their men to be affectionate with them. Me personally, I do not understand it. Now, I have been in a relationship where my boyfriend at the time, he wasn't affectionate. I want to be told I'm beautiful. I want to be caressed. I want someone to rub their hands through my hair. You think my hair is soft? You like my hair? Then touch it. It's not going to bite you. He wasn't affectionate. He was all around a good guy, but he wasn't affectionate. Let me tell you, gentlemen, that is a big major thing for a lot of women. Now I know some women that may not want you to be affectionate towards them. I don't understand that. I don't know if it's them not being comfortable. I don't know. But me and most women want the affection. Hold our hand. We know many of you don't want to hold our hand, but it's not about what you want all the time. It's about what we want. Kiss me for no reason. And I'm not talking about just a peck. Now, if you got to start with a peck, then start with a peck. But I'm talking about really kiss me, like make out with me for no reason. Like you love my lips, right? Then do that. Show me that. Now, I don't have to worry about that in my marriage. Thank goodness. Because my husband is over the top affectionate. Maybe some people may have thought over time if they receive too much affection that they might not want anymore. That's not the case for me. Give it all to me. I can't get enough. Every five minutes, if you want to tell me how gorgeous and beautiful and amazing and wonderful and I am, I need all of that. Wanna know why? Because I am and I'm gonna take that. Now, when you get somebody that doesn't do that, it's like, damn, what are you doing to make up for that? Like, how do you make up for that? Like, how do you make up for not getting kissed in the middle of the night? Like, I just, a part of me just feels so sad for some people because they don't have that, you know? Get it together, guys. Give her what she deserves. She deserves loves, kisses, and hugs. Real love, kisses, and hugs. How can you receive too much affection? How can you receive too many kisses? How? Okay, so I tried to give my ex game. I tried to tell him, you know, just like, go like this, you know, to me, like, Y'all won't believe what he did. We're sitting down. It was random. He tried and he was just like, and I was just like, damn, that's when I knew. Like, I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't take this for the rest of my life. I'm gonna use some ketchup with that. I'm not saying you can't train somebody, but is it really them? I don't wanna train nobody. I want to give you the game, you either follow it or you don't. I don't want to train anybody because now I'm training you to be what? The person I want you to be? No, I just want you to be that person. I was just blessed with an affectionate man. So listen, <clears throat> don't you know that meme where they say like you want this hood, gangster, sophisticated, educated, but still edgy guy that's affectionate and loving and just everything? Well, that's the guy that I have. What can I say? Now, granted, every marriage has its ups and downs. Don't ever forget that. But do I have to settle? I'm far from settling here, you guys. Does he get on my nerves? Oh my gosh, I just want to sometimes. But happy wife, happy life. Do you know this man had the audacity to tell me? Well, if you think about it, the tables could be turned. It could be happy life, happy wife. Because if life is happy, then the wife is happy. No, 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 no. Don't try to change it, boo boo. Make me happy, and then the rest of our life is gonna be happy. Okay, baby? Okay. Mm, I love you. See, see how easy that is? Take the trash out every day like I ask you. The last thing I wanna be is that the woman that's like, oh my gosh, you need this, you deserve this, you deserve that. Because everybody's relationship is different, and everybody fits in their relationship differently. If you're okay with that, that's totally fine. I'm just saying, me, I'm not. And I'm just saying to you guys, just try to do some things that you're not also comfortable with because i promise you your wife or your fiance or your girlfriend is definitely doing things that she is not comfortable with just to make you happy i'm not talking about don't go smacking her butt just randomly like if you just want to walk up to her and just lay your head or your face in her neck and just smell her and be like mm, you smell good i'm giving y'all tips stop her just be like whoa wow you look incredible. Incredible, that is an amazing word. That's like a rare word that people usually use. Like we hear beautiful, we hear gorgeous, but incredible, that's a good one. And mean it, like literally, you know you're an all when you see her sometimes and you're like, you know my husband, he says to me, I can't believe that I'm still so attracted to you. I thought that over time, after five, six years, that I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, I would get used to what you look like. You look drop dead gorgeous. He doesn't say he still get butterflies, but Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed today's segment. Thanks for tuning in to Chat with Trent. Bye.